Coming up next on the Bernie Beat, it's KC Kids at the Kendall County Fair. History for the Bernie Greyhounds boys water polo team. A century of Greyhound football and homecoming parades. It's all coming up next on the Bernie Beat. Hello, I'm Thomas Hand, director of the Bernie Alternative Programs. Thanks for watching the Bernie Beat. Hello everybody and welcome to the Bernie Bee, sponsored by Bernie Radio. Here are some of the top stories from around Bernie ISD this week. It's a tradition like no other. At the annual Kendall County Fair, Bernie ISD special education students were treated to KC Kids Day. Students experience all the fun at the fair, including a petting zoo, carnival, painting mural, and more. The event takes many volunteers and PE partners to make it a yearly success. The annual event took place the Friday before the fair opened. A Bernie ISD team made history. The Bernie Greyhound boys water polo team picked up their first win in school history by beating Marshall 17-12 in a district matchup at Northside Natatorium. It's the first ever season for the Greyhound boys and girls water polo teams. Speaking of history, Bernie ISD is celebrating plenty of it this year. This fall marks the 100th season of Bernie Greyhound football. Bernie ISD hosted a celebration prior to Thursday's Greyhound home opener with football alumni and former coaches in attendance. The celebration of the 100th football season will continue all year. Speaking of football, the Bernie Greyhounds will host its annual homecoming parade on Monday, September 16th at 6.30 p.m. There will be a full road closure on Blanco Road from Main Street to Esser Road from 6 to 7 p.m. Following the parade, there will be a community pep rally at Bernie ISD Stadium. Those are the top stories from around Bernie ISD this week. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.